Well, my interest in and knowledge of philosophy depended on the various branches. Uh, the central branch of philosophy, of any philosophy, is ethics, values, how you should live. And that was what primarily interested me at the outset. That was the whole issue of the moral and the practical, and idealism, which had been central to my whole development. So that was what really attracted me to objectivism. At that point, I wasn't too interested in political questions, and I didn't know anything about the fundamental issues of philosophy. But very quickly, my interest developed to include politics, not as an end in itself, but primarily because politics is simply the application of ethics to social questions. What is right or wrong in terms of what the government does, what society does, which presupposes that you have an answer to what is right and wrong. So once you're involved in ethics, of course, politics follows. I was quite content on that level, <clears throat> but there are two fundamental branches of uh, philosophy, and Ayn Rand explained to me from the beginning, those are the most important branches of philosophy. And she gave me the argument. She said, if you don't know how you know, then you can never prove anything because you don't know what you're taking as knowledge. So before you can say, this is my knowledge of ethics or my knowledge of politics, you have to know what knowledge is. I grasped that in a theoretical way, but I thought everybody knows what knowledge is. And then she said, by the same token, how can you know what knowledge is? Knowledge is knowledge of reality. So you have to have a view of what is reality, and that's metaphysics. And again, I grasped that. It's pretty theoretical to me. Well, reality is what's out there. When I went to graduate school, <clears throat> as when I discovered that everything is metaphysics and epistemology, because every corruption, every distortion, and every fallacy in those fields was thrown at me en masse, and uh, I suddenly realized I have no answer to anything. Uh, the things that I think are obvious, I can't defend for two seconds against the wealth of stuff thrown at me. And that's when my interest turned totally, or not totally, but dominantly, to metaphysics and above all epistemology. Uh, and then I saw that ethics is just a consequence. And once you have a solid foundation, you can read off a philosopher's ethics and then his politics. So I turned to specialize really in epistemology. Uh, but that was my own uh, progression.